Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see different relationship between different objects in cell force. Now, what is the meaning of relationship? So see, here we have one table. Now see, here we have information of different students, right? So one student is Akshay Kadam, roll number, department, contact number, college, college ID, city and university, right? In the same way, we have information of other two students, right? Now see, here, Akshay Kadam belongs to PI city, right? There is some information related to this college, right? So see, this college ID belongs to this PI city college, city, PI city college, university, PI city college, right? Now see, when this PI city is get repeated here, so all this information is get repeated here, right? In the same way, suppose, here are only two records, but suppose there are 100 records or many records. So see, if there are many students, those belongs to PI city. So definitely these records will get repeated, right? And this is called as data redundancy. This is called as data redundancy, right? Then one more thing is data inconsistency. What is the meaning of data inconsistency? So see, Suppose college ID of PICD college got changed. Suppose it is 4006 now, right? So wherever there is a PICD college, there we have to change college ID, right? By chance, in some rows, we have not changed this college ID, then there will be incorrect data, right? There will be wrong data in this table, right? This is called as data inconsistency. There will be wrong data in our table. In some rows, there will be 4005 and in some rows, there will be 4006, right? As there are multiple records of PACD college, there are chances that data in some rows are not properly changed or not correctly changed, right? So, this is called as data inconsistency, right? So, when we have very big objects, so we suffer two problems. One is a data redundancy and another is data inconsistency. Now see, to avoid these two problems, what we have to do? We have to divide objects into smaller objects. Object means table. So in cell force, object means table. So we have to divide big objects into smaller objects to avoid data redundancy and data inconsistency. See. So see, same example, right? Here we have student information and along with that, we have this college information, right? So what can be done? We can divide this table into two different tables, two smaller tables. One belongs to student and other table belongs to college. See, one table belongs to student and one table about college, right? So see, Akshay Kadam belongs to PICT. Vipin Dikshit also belongs to PICT. This PICT data will be in college table, right? So only this data is sufficient, right? Now see, if one more student is added in the student table with college PICD. So no need to add this data, right? So data redundancy will get avoided. Now see, suppose college ID or university of PICD college got changed. So we have to make change in this row only, right? No need to change multiple records or multiple rows. So by this, we can avoid data inconsistency, right? So we face two problems when there are bigger objects, bigger tables, we face data redundancy and data inconsistency, right? To avoid this problem, tables or objects can be divided into smaller objects. Now see, we are dividing these objects into the smaller tables, but these tables should get related to each other, right? In this example, you can see here. See, what is the relationship between this table and this table? This student belongs to one college, right? And this college information is given in this table, right? So, this is the relationship between these two tables. So, see, this student belongs to this college, right? And this college information is given here. So, this column or this field is called as relationship field. See, this is called as relationship field. Relationship field. In this case, college is relationship field. Now, see, here, one table is called as parent and other table is called as child. What is the meaning of this? See, keep in mind, Table with relationship field is called a child table. So, in this case, student is child table. Why student is child table? Because this table has this relationship field. While other table is called a parent table. So, in this case, college is parent table, student is child table. And why student is child table? Because student has this relationship field. And many records from this table can be associated, can be related to one record in this table. 
right so see here PICT PICT two records are there with the PICT college and this PICT information is given here right so this is the relationship field and that's why this is the child table while this is a parent table so table with the relationship field that is child table and other table whose information is given in another table that is called as a parent table right now see so if we talk about relationship between two objects that means two tables so what are the possibilities there are four natural possibilities right one to one one to many many to one and many to many these are the possible combinations right here we are talking about relationship between two objects right so this is one table and this is another table right and what do we have one and many so one record of one table associated with the one record of another table one record of one table is associated with many records of another table second table many records of first table is associated with one record of second table many records of first table associated with the many records of second table so here we are talking about relationship between two objects or two tables one table second table right and this relationship is between the records between the rows right one row and one row from the first table one row from the second table many rows from the first table one row from the second table right now see these are the possible combination but when we see in detail so see when there is one to one relationship so there is no need to break table right anyhow it is one record from one table associated with the one record of another table so one to one relationship because of that no need to break that table or object right that's why this is not significant now another is one to many and third is many to one but both are same right one to many or many to one so on one side one record and another side multiple records here we are looking from the another side right many records of one table associated with the one record of another table right so one to many and many to one both are same just we are looking from the different perspective right so that's why we have one to many because one to many and many to one both are same right and one more is many to many means many records of one table are associated with the many records of another table now see so in cell phones we have these kinds of relationship one to many stands for one to many and many to one and another is many to many right so this many to many right now see in one to many relationship again there are two types master detail relationship and lookup relationship see there are two types of one to many relationship master detail relationship and lookup relationship now what is the meaning of i will explain in simple words master means parent detail means child keep in mind master means parent and detail means child now see in master detail relationship there is strong relationship between parent records and child records while in lookup relationship there is weak relationship between parent record and child record now what is the meaning of strong relationship and weak relationship see from the example we'll see we have this student table and we have this college table right now see this akshay kadam belongs to pict varad joshi belongs to gcoe vipin dikshit belongs to pict right now see if i remove this row or this record or this college from this table i should delete all the records where college is pict because now this record doesn't carry any meaning right because we have removed pict as a college then why should we keep students from the pict college right we should remove these records from the student table there is strong relationship between records of this table and this table right and this is called as master detail relationship so here in between college and student table in college and student table or object there is one to many relationship right and this one to many relationship is of type master detail master detail in the sense there is a strong relationship between child table and parent table right that's why it is a master detail now see another another type is lookup so already i have told if there is a weak relationship between parent records and the child record then we call it lookup relationship so see here there are two tables one is staff room and another is teacher right and see in this table we have this staff room field this is relationship field right so as this table have this field relationship field because of that this is child table right and this table becomes a parent table right now see 
if we remove any stop room from this table still it is not required to remove any record from the teacher table because see any teacher will be there in that college right if you remove any stop room right so it is not compulsory to remove that teacher from the teacher table right so that's why there is a weak relationship between these two tables right so whenever there is a weak relationship we call it lookup relationship so here in between stop room and teacher table stop room and teacher object there is a one to many relationship why one to many so see here for example ka is from stop room a304 and also yogesh ange is from stop room a304 right so here multiple records many records are associated with the one record of this right so that's why there is one to many relationship and it is a lookup relationship why because there is a weak relationship between these two table in lookup relationship if i delete any record from the parent table there is no need to delete records from the child table this is called as lookup relationship in master data relationship if we delete any record from the parent table compulsorily we should delete records from the student table that is called a master data relationship but in lookup relationship if we delete any record from the parent table it is not compulsory to delete records from the child table this is called a lookup relationship keep in mind whenever there is a one to many relationship so detail is on many side and master is on one side see here in this case many records of student table are associated with the one record of this college table right so on many side there is child on many side this is a child table and on one record one side right this is a parent table so whenever there is one to many relationship so table where many records are associated with the one record of another table many side is child table and one means parent table right so in this way in one to many relationship there are two types one is a master detail and another is lookup master detail have strong relationship lookup has weak relationship if we delete any record from the master table automatically records from the detail table should get deleted in lookup relationship there is a weak relationship if we delete any record from the parent table no need to delete records from the child table that is the lookup relationship now see there is one more relationship that is many to many so we have seen master detail and lookup relationship and there is one more relationship that is many to many from the name only it is clear many records of one table are associated with the many records of another table we will see example look at these two tables student and teacher now see one student can be taught by multiple teachers right and one teacher can be teaching multiple students right that's why there is many to many relationship one student can be taught by multiple teachers or many teachers and one teacher can be teaching multiple students right this is called as many to many relationship and when there is many to many relationship we don't have such kind of subdivision so in this way we have different relationships between two objects in cell 4 one to many and many to many and there are two types of one to many master detail relationship and lookup relationship there are some features of master detail relationship see these are the some features of master detail relationship see relationship field is required on all detail records means in all detail records there should be relationship field there should be some value in relationship field the ownership and sharing of a detail record are determined by the master record means whatever the ownership and privileges are given to the data record are determined by the master record and this is very important when a user deletes master record all detail records are deleted right so already we have seen that you can create roll up summary fields on the master record to summarize the detail records so what is the meaning of roll up summary we will see in upcoming videos in next video we will see how to implement this relationship in cell force so friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.